so freaking excited right now. All right, guys. Here on Hunting Grounds property, and I don't care how loud I am because I have just tagged my first ever buck on my property. The first time that I've ever been hunting my property with a rifle because I'm actually a landowner now and I don't have to buy two tags, out-of-state tags, and it's awesome. Let me show you guys where I shot it. Oh man, look how beautiful it is out here. All these eagle seed soybeans, the redneck blind. I don't know if any of you all want to see the buck because I'm like so freaking pumped. It was my goal this year that I would take a three and a half year old buck if I had to take a three and a half year old buck. I've got some four and a half year olds and eventually I want to get to four and a half. But for my first buck on my first property, I don't care what size it is, that's a trophy in itself. And I just got blessed out of my socks. You guys ready to see? Anybody want to see? I'm fixing to show you. He's a good buck. I'm excited. All right. So, Redneck Shooting House, just got done doing my interview, I'm sick, and so I had to come back from deer camp and sit in the Redneck blind. He walked out right over here down the slogging road, and he saw me moving slightly, getting the window up. I was able to self-film him. He's facing me head on. Oh my gosh. And I... I there you go. Yes! Great buck. First buck on my own property ever. He started showing up, catching him on spy point trail cameras, making scrapes all over. And uh, he was not with a doe this morning. Had a couple of does come through. Been rubbing trees, apparently. He's got a cool little start of a, a kicker back here. I'd say he's probably a good three and a half. He might be a four and a half year old. We're here in the Ozarks of Missouri. But my gosh i'm so excited he is a great great buck and i have had a rough season and i'll tell you what i'm just going to tell you guys right here while i've got all of you watching and we'll even put the buck in the background hunters have to support hunters as long as they are legally hunting let's just get that out there but i'll tell you what it's been the roughest season that i've ever had um why i don't know but god's got everything planned out i'll tell you that and the deer that i've missed and the encounters that i've had and all the missed opportunities the roughest season i've ever had have all lined up to tag my first buck first buck of the season is on the hunting grounds property and i'll tell you when god has things planned they don't work out any better you would not want anything to go any differently because the ultimate plan always turns out better than you could ever expect did not expect this this morning. Wasn't expecting hardly anything with the season that I've been having. And there you go. Big buck. Totally blessed. That's what it's all about. Get your own property. Work your own property. And harvest deer in your own property. There's nothing else like it. I can promise you guys that. It's been a dream of mine for my entire life. And it just came true. Look at that. Great. Ozark Nine Point here in southwest Missouri. Yes, sir. Better than average day for sure. <laughs> Way above average. So that's pretty cool. I'm so excited. Yes. Great, great buck. Beautiful. He looks great when he was looking right at me, man. He he looked tall. And he's he's a great buck. I couldn't ask for better for my first buck on my first property. I've passed up so many deer here. Shot him right. A little high. Actually, about perfect. He was facing on. Man, they he did not move. He dropped. Wow. 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 I might have cried a little. I don't, I don't, I didn't try to cry. I think it was all the sickness and everything just kind of let out and like the little tears kind of came out. I think it was the cold though. So, uh, this episode is going to be really cool. It's not like the best footage of all time because he actually caught me like opening the window and I was opening the window really, really slow. And then he had time to get the spy point Excel on and he had walked out and I got him walking just a little bit. I didn't care. He was not walking very far as far as I was concerned. I was going to lay him down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, still cannot. 
pretty cool. I'm excited, man. That's that's what it's all about right there. And I thank you guys for following me and all the support you guys are giving me <laughs> in my misses on my episodes this year. And I've just never had a season like this. But, you know, hunters have to support hunters. I don't care if you miss. If you, if you don't miss, then you probably haven't hunted enough. But you've got to get back out there, know that God's got a plan, and uh, you just got to stick with it and put your time in. And God, he's got his own plan for you. And man, gosh, I mean, just not being able to stop touching this rack. I mean, that's too cool. I've gotten so many trail cam pictures lately of this buck. The kicker's cool. Man, he's a stinky buck. He is stinky. I bet he just made a scrape back there because, man, he's got some stuff in his handlers. Really been rubbing hard. Oh, my goodness. God is great. God is good. Yes, yes, yes. Man. <laughs> Golly. Okay, so I'm trying to get. Oh, man. My hair is awful. I don't even care. Man, this is. I don't even know what to do right now. I'm waiting on, like, Scotty or somebody or mom or somebody to go, hey, yeah, I'll come take some pictures. <laughs> Man, I was sick yesterday. I had to leave deer camp early, and that's not easy for me to do. And I got in a redneck where I was kind of out of the element, closed all the windows so the wind wouldn't hit me. <sighs> Great buck. Totally blessed. I was feeling like crap about 20 minutes ago, and now I feel pretty dang good. Who's that creeping? Big old buck. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Thanks, thanks, guys. Oh, my gosh. I've waited my whole life for this right here. Like, killing a buck, property that you owned, you finally get to purchase your own property, you put the time in, food plots, prescribed burns, timber stand improvement. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Can't quit looking at it. So, all right, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. If you guys would, it's a pretty big deal for me. Pretty big deal for the hunting grounds. Uh, share this video if you guys would. And just hopefully you guys are excited as I am. Because, man, that's what it's all about. You guys have been sending me so many photos of all these big bucks. And I've been so excited for all of you. At the same time going, when's it going to happen for me? Only takes like five seconds and your whole season turns around. All right, guys. Yeah, that's a good picture. We should take a picture together right there. All right, see you guys.